looks like we're we're live. Are we live? I don't even know if we're live. Looking at the stream, it looks like we're live. Look at we already beat the game, guys. That was good. That was a good good run. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are live and ready to rock and or roll. Sweet, all right. Well, the first thing is first. This is the best screen here. Unexpected development. You know this is a good game when the developers were unexpectedly making this game. And it's EA, I mean, what can go wrong with the EA game? Am I right? <laughs> Victor runs over. Two second run. All right. All right, we are we are ready to rock and or roll in three, two, one, go. Shaq Fu, probably the hidden gem of the Game Boy handheld system. Um, I guess there's really not much to say about the game itself. It's just going to be a lot of leg sweeping and a lot of hoping that AI wants to cooperate with us. So that commentary sucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some Shaq facts. Um, so yeah, Shaquille O'Neal is a fantastic actor, musician, athlete. And that's not to mention the best video game character to ever be, you know, created on the Super Nintendo, the Game Gear, the Sega Genesis, and the Nintendo Game Boy. Um, and the fact that they're remaking this game, or at least making a new Shaq Fu for the Switch, I mean, you just... I mean, you just can't, it, you, you can't be happier. Um, Shaq was born in 1972 in the state of New Jersey. So all of you that are from New Jersey, be proud that Shaq was born in your state. He went to Louisiana State, Louisiana state University and was named College Player of the Year in 1991. Um, in 1991 and 1992, he was named First Team All-American. However, in 1992, Shaq decided to drop out of college, which was his junior year, to pursue a career in the NBA. Um, Sandy at 7 feet tall, 315 pounds, uh, Shaq would be one of the very few people to ever finish in the top 10 for scoring, rebounds, blocks, and shooting percentage his rookie year. Um, as, as the year went on, veteran NBA centers would quickly take note of uh, what Shaq would call the power slamming technique. It would purposely foul him in the paint just so he can do some free throws, and poor Shaq was just not good at free throws. Uh, therefore, his shooting percentage would tank pretty heavily. Um, Shaq was one of the first was one of the first players in the NBA his rookie year to be named Player of the Week. So I mean, he was one heck of a basketball player. Um, in 1996, he would sign a $120 million deal with the LA Lakers and team with Kobe Bryant. Um, and towards the end of his career, he would be an All-American athlete for the third and second team. In his last seven years of his career, he would be on the first team All-American. Uh, let's see here. Shaq went on to play for a few other teams after the Lakers, most notably the Heat, the Cavaliers, and the Celtics. Um... Shaq's retirement was announced on Twitter, oddly enough, and not really like formally announced through ESPN or you know those other traditional you know media that like Michael Jordan or you know Magic Johnson or them took. Um, Shaq isn't just a basketball player though. Like I said before, he was a musician. Um, he was just a fantastic rapper. All right, no one could compare to Shaq. Uh, he had a solo debut album called Shaq Diesel, which went to become a platinum record. And in 1994, Shaq would release Shaq Food to Return, uh, which would certify Shaq as a gold gold rap artist. I don't know what a gold rap artist means, but I mean, he's a rap artist, so. Um, Shaq also became a movie star. And let's just talk about a couple of the movies. Kazam, fantastic movie. Steel, even better. Um, sadly though, no, no Oscars or Grammys or any of that type of stuff was, you know, awarded to Shaq, whatever movie awards that people get nowadays are. In my opinion, he should have gotten them all, but, you know, what can he do? 
Um, so yeah, back to this game now. We're on the second to last fight. Uh, we're in the second round here. So if you don't remember any of the lore of Shaq, he's got to fight uh, Braca or whatever his name is from Soul Calibur. Um, if the person is inside of Shaq's hitbox, like inside of Shaq's body, um, you can't hit them. So this is the final fight. Shaq has to fight the mummy, so he's fighting Dwayne Johnson here. Uh, the mummy is actually pretty easy. He does a little charge attack. Um, I would say the only bad thing about this game is maybe the controls. It's a little awkward to do the leg sweep because you have to do it down and back. And if you've ever played a Game Boy, like, you know, like doing fighting combos on a D-pad like the Game Boys, this is not optimal. If you've ever played Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo controller, then you know what I'm talking about. So basically we just wait until the AI wants to get in our face, do a couple leg sweeps here and there, do a couple kicks, then once the victory stream comes up, it is time. Gives him the finger of shame and that's it. That is Shaq Fu. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned a bit more about Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, he's a squirping, whatever, who cares? He was in a dumb movie. Um, so yeah. What y'all should do is just, you know, tweet at Shaq and be like, hey, Shaq, our boy EBC just played the greatest game of all time, so. Um, yeah. Um, keep talking as you like. Oh, boy, I can keep talking all day about Shaq facts, but I don't think the chat wants that. I did that for Handheld Heroes. That got to be long. Um, let's see here. We can... We can go to Dora if you guys are ready. I have to, I have to swap consoles quick. But we can do Dora. I don't have any Dora facts. But we're about to be cultured with